Yes people, it's Tom Beckles here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you tasty bulking meals with your 4,000 calorie bulk. And this is following on from our previous video which was cheap budget bulking. These are going to be super cheap, high in protein, high in calories. So without further ado, let's get into it. So with the first meal of the day, I'm going for a bowl of cereal and granola. As a hard gainer myself, I struggle with eating a lot of food in the morning. However, this bowl is tasty high in calories and you don't feel super full up afterwards. In the description below, I've listed where you can find all of the ingredients for each recipe. So you'll want to pour out 100 grams of chocolate Weetabix into a bowl. Then add 100 grams of granola to the mix. I went for a raisin and almond granola as it gives a little more flavor as well as extra calories and protein. Once that's done, you simply just add 300 milliliters of blue milk and that's it. I added some frozen fruit on top of the bowl for extra flavor, but that's completely optional. The great thing about cereal is you can pretty much have it any time of the day. It takes practically no preparation and is way easier to eat rather than consuming loads of dry chicken and rice meals. This bowl doesn't have a crazy amount of protein as you simply just don't need every meal to be jammed full of protein. As long as you're hitting your protein intake goals, you're good. All right, next up, we're going for eggs on toast with beans. You're probably thinking this is a prison meal, but there's a few things we're gonna do to spice this up. First off, you'll need to heat up some oil in a pan. I'm using olive oil here as it's great for bulking, but it is quite expensive. So if you use a different oil, it doesn't matter. Anyways, crack open four eggs into the pan. You can fry them, scramble them, sit on them, pretty much have them any way you like. But in this case, I'm going for fried eggs. Whilst they're frying, pour your beans into a pan and add whatever seasoning you like. I'm going for salt, pepper, paprika, and curry powder. Adding chili flakes is also a good option too if you want a bit more spice. Let that cook for a while and then get two pieces of toast ready and buttered. Now pile everything onto the plate and try to evenly distribute the beans. And there you have it, cheap, high in protein and tasty. What more could you ask for? Right, next up we're going to make a chili mince pasta. This is basically an anabolic chili con carne but with pasta instead. So start by cooking the mince. I always get five to 10% fat mince as I'm currently lean bulking. So trying to keep my definition whilst putting on a bit of size. Whilst that's cooking away, fill up some water in a pan and get it bubbling for the pasta. Once the mince is cooked, I season it with the same combo as the eggs. So curry powder, paprika, pepper, and a little salt. It's always crazy to me how some people eat gray unseasoned mince, but luckily for you, you found my channel now. So you're now saved. Then onto the pasta, just chuck it all into the pan. And with this, it doesn't really matter what pasta you use. I just went for that Ilicotti Lai Legati only. Definitely just butchered that pronunciation, but we move. Now onto the sauce. Serving curry from a jar. Not the whole thing, actually, <laughs> sweetheart. We are cheating a little bit here by using a chili con carne jar as our sauce, but we have to bear in mind these are all quick simple and cheap recipes so the jar's here to stay. If there's any remains in the jar or if the mince is still a little thick just swirl some water around in the jar and add it to the mix. Give that a nice stir and add in a can of drained kidney beans. After that you can grab some peas to pack out the sauce a little bit. I love peas as they're also great for extra protein and flavour. After draining all the water from the pasta start to mix it in with the mince and stir it evenly. And there we have it. Honestly, this meal is stupidly good. Whenever I'm bulking, I always want to eat tasty meals as it makes the process much easier. To top it off, you can even add cheese to your pasta for some extra gains. Onto a Jimbro classic now, chicken and rice, but well seasoned this time. I went with chicken thighs as they are cheaper and have more calories too. Firstly, we're going to marinate the chicken overnight. For that, we're gonna use Greek yogurt, half a lemon, paprika, salt, curry powder, and pepper as a marinade. Firstly, get yourself a big bowl and chuck all of the chicken thighs in there. Add a couple of tablespoons of Greek yogurt to the mix, followed by a sprinkle of salt and some pepper. Then cover the chicken with paprika and curry powder. If you want a more flavorsome marinade, you can add in dried thyme like I did here. Then squeeze a lemon without getting any seeds in. You can also add in a little bit of honey too, and then some hot sauce for a bit of a kick. Once that's all in the pot, Simply just get your hands in there and mix it all together. Now, I know this doesn't look appetizing at the moment, but you've got to trust the process on this one. Cover the bowl and stick the marinated chicken in the fridge and leave it overnight. Or if you're feeling lazy, you can leave it there for a few hours. Now that the chicken is ready and marinated, preheat the oven to 200 degrees and leave it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. Whilst the chicken is cooking, I'm going to prepare the broccoli. Broccoli is super cheap, 
healthy and has a decent amount of protein too. Once that's all chopped up into little small trees, chuck it into the steamer or even a metal bowl with boiling water. Leave that to cook and now let's start prepping the rice. But first, look at the size of this spring onion. Like that's actually insane. Some spring onion on roids or something. But yeah, anyways, I'm using the spring onion to give the rice a little more flavor. Once that's all chopped up, pour out your rice and cover it with water. Then add half a teaspoon of pepper, some salt, a teaspoon of thyme, another teaspoon of seasoning, followed by your spring onion and give it a stir. The chicken's all ready now and golden brown, so I'll put that to one side and wait for the rest of the rice and the veg to cook. And here we finally have a tasty Jimbro chicken and rice that isn't dry and actually tastes good. You can also add sweet chili sauce or any other sauces to this dish. Finally, to finish off the day, I'll have this high calorie Vulcan shake either after a workout or before I head to bed. It's a simple recipe with five key ingredients, starting with protein powder. I'm using Dutch chocolate from Legion Athletics and honestly, it's my favorite by far. If you want good protein powder and supplements, you can head to Legion Athletics and use my code Beckles for 20% off all orders. Anyways, after protein powder, you'll need oats, any type of milk, a banana, or even strawberries if you prefer, and then water. First, weigh out 100 grams of oats on their own and blend them together, almost like powder. This makes for a way better consistency. Next, you'll wanna get yourself two scoops of protein powder. After that, add in 300 milliliters of milk to the mix, followed by 200 milliliters of water, then chop up a banana and add it to the shake. And finally, add in one tablespoon of olive oil, which is a cheat code for Vulcan, literally 125 calories just for one tablespoon. Now, all you've got to do is blend it all together, and there you have it, a 1,000 calorie shake with almost 70 grams of protein. And that pretty much wraps up the whole video. So in total, these meals come to 4,500 calories, nearly 260 grams of protein. And if, say, you're Vulcan for 4,000 calories, then you can just swap out one of the meals or granola or even glasses of milk. If you'd like to see more cooking tutorial videos or any other type of content, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching. Drop a like, drop a subscription, and until next time.